Hi guys, good morning. Uh, so now let me move to the next part, which is your uh, CSK screw. And you can see that this is also symmetrical. So let me draw this. I have shown the dimensions. So from here to here, it is 24 is the total dia. So from here to here is 12 mm. And this distance is very difficult. So blindly you draw one line and leave it up. And this height of screw he has given it to be a 30 mm. So draw one vertical line of 30 mm and from here to here it will be 6 mm. Draw one vertical line where this vertical line intersect this inclined line trim off there. Go with the revolve command, revolve it. Once it is done, you need to draw the external threads. Right? Go with the thread command and choose the cylindrical surface and give it as a M12 and a pitch you have to choose it the same pitch which you have created while creating the screw spindle right there i have given a 1.5 mm, uh, 1.5 mm as a pitch so here also i will give the 1.5 mm as pitch only once the, the thread is generated once the thread is generated i need to glue cut here the dimension of this glue cut is uh, 2 mm by 3 mm so let me create a rectangle with center right of 2 by 6 because if, why I have taken 6 is 3 mm will be at the top and 3 mm will be at the bottom right so I can glue cut it out so let me show the how to do that so let me go with the sketch choose the front plane right first the total height of the screw is 30 mm So this is 12 mm. Draw a line at an angle of 45 degrees. Leave it up. Take up the line from the bottom. Take up the 6 mm. Right. Give the angle to be vertical. Right. You can go that trim. Trim out the excess lines. Finish the sketch. Go with the revolve, choose the line, click on finish. Once it is done and uh, we need to go with the threads, go to the create. I have thread option here. Select the cylinder face and isometric thread M12. The main thing is you need to choose the picture 1.5 mm and choose it to be a model. And here I don't need, I can observe carefully the thread is not there for a full length. Thread is not there for a full length. So you can offset it by 1 mm. Right? You can offset it by 1 or 2 mm. Right? So what I can do, I can choose it to be a... Right? Let me offset it by 2 mm. Total length, I can give it to be... Right? Or... Total and 30 minus 6, that is 24, 24, minus 2, that is 22, you can give. Right? But here, offset, you are not getting it from the top. Right? So, what I can try to do? Da, no. The last thing we can do it is. Right? The best thing we can work on is let's split the face. Right? Let's split the face. So let me create a an offset plane. I will offset this plane at a distance of uh, 30 minus 6 is 24, 24 minus 2 is 22 mm. Right? So I will go to the modify and I have an option called a split face. So this face I need to split it up. The splitting tool will use my offset plane. Right now, easily I can create it. Let me go to the thread, select the cylinder, model ISO 12 mm 1.5 to be a picture, and blindly click on OK. This will be offset. Right? So now let me go to the sketch and I can choose the front plane. Right? Let me create a rectangle. 
rectangle with centered rectangle. So with this as a center point. So this I can take it to be 6 mm and this I can take it to be 2 mm. Right? Thereby I will go to get exactly by. So if I take this to be a 2 mm, but it's already there. And uh, for our reference, let me take the distance from this to this will be 3 mm. Horizontally displayed. Right? So finish it up. Let me go with the extrude. Select the sketch. Two sides. Let it to be cut. Click on OK. Right. Once it is done, assign the material. Go to the physical material and the material for this is also a, a mild steel. So assign a material. You can create, right? You can rename it to be CSK screw, right? And you can save it to be CSK screw, right? So this completes the sixth part and left behind with only one part that is your tommy bar so let's continue the tommy bar in the next thank you